Max, catch him on deck! Max, catch him! Yo, what's up? Welcome back, Max. Thank you. Sorry Trying you to so catch them all. Yeah. All right, cool. We got another good one. It's coming in. All right, peace out, Yanni. What is good, my partner in What's crime? What's good? What's good? Partner in Smash, partner in crime, partner partner in commentary. Should yeah, we financial partners too. Yes. Get that esports money. LOL. We got that we had that synergy on the game, now we're about to have it on the mic. Indeed. Real quick. Alright, so we got Smash Studios teaming up with CT. I love the friendly competition. Yeah, the two owners yes. joining together. Yes, exactly. Really, is this a monopoly? No, it's about to become a monopoly out here. Oh, man. Yo, watch combining. out, BGBC. Yeah. Watch out, me. Watch out, you. Watch out, everybody. And Tempest and Uchi, <coughs> the East and Smash Boys as well. And these guys, we just played them. Yes. They were Peach and Ike. Mm -hmm. Interesting team composition. The last time I've seen that is actually in Brawl at Apex 2014. They wow. made it to top eight. Um, it was... Uh, Ricky, I think his name is, hmm. and uh, and Rio from oh, Florida. Wow. They were really good, man. They pulled off a lot of upsets, but that was this seven is a regular ago. brawl teams. Yeah, regular wow. brawl teams. Ike and Peach. They beat the cat and false in winners. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty amazing. Uh, they lost horribly in losers though, because the cat switched to Meta Knight. So hmm. yeah, double Wario. I could see that struggling against Ike and Peach though. Yeah, Peach does well versus Wario even in singles. So does Ike Ooh. to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he can wall him out if he plays correctly. Exactly. Yeah, it can be a little hard, and he gets so much off of a grab. And Ike's pivot grab has pretty good uh, range, too. Yeah, Wario bad against swords and pivot grabs, just yeah. kind of as a rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. But different game yes, on the screen Yes, exactly. Right now. I was just about to say, that was many, many <coughs> months ago that the Ike and Peach team blew through Apex, and now we're going to see in this round robin, can they continue uh, that synergy between those two characters, or will Chibo and PB&J prove to be too much? I mean, these guys do run two Smash organizations, yeah. so they must know what they're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, and these guys stream a lot. PB&J streams uh, very often. Yeah, he's been practicing with M2K a lot, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, <coughs> I'm scared to fight these guys. we got to eventually go up against yeah. them. Yeah, and Chibo, you know, seasoned vet. Yep. With the Samus. Uh, yeah, the Samus is so real in the fusion suit, and, okay... Mario from PB&J. Very interesting. Normally a Spacey's player. Yeah, he does have a Mario in PM when uh, earlier on in earlier builds he played Mario, even before Mario got like super duper good. So. I didn't even know PB&J played much PM until uh, recently. Yeah, yeah, he did actually play a little bit of PM. I played him in tournament before. And he's just a very, very solid melee player overall. Yes, he is. Okay, ooh, that forward tilt from Ike. Such a sped up move from his former incarnation. And now, uh, the angle on it is a little heavier, so it can hit people from under the edge. I think in Brawl you could slightly angle it, but it really wasn't enough to matter too much. Right. And, oh man, oh, very unfortunate. Ike SD and getting pushed off the stage after successfully landing a hit. That's yeah. just one of those slight little <coughs> things about Smash that are really irritating. It's like, oh man, I. I was trying to do something smart, but mm -hmm. some unforeseen circumstance cost me a stock. And now Uchi down to his last stock, and as our friend DM Brandon would say, he's dropping stocks like they're on fire. <laughs> Blazing hot right now. Yeah. As if they were coming straight from Mario's hands. And, oh, is that going to be another? No. Okay. No cape. The cape could have made that real ugly right there. Mm -hmm. and yes. Now, this green team, they really want to go for the mixture of ground and air control that their characters offer. They have so many hitboxes. Ike, that big sword, Peach able to flow through the air and apply pressure, but right now it seems like the blue team is keeping them out with a mixture of projectiles and just Ooh. solid long range normals of their own, mainly uh, Mario's back air, Samus' air. Yeah, and Chibo landing that halo um, <laughs> charge shot right there from across the screen. <laughs> that headshot mm. achievement unlocked. Yeah, for real. Oh, friendly fire achievement unlocked, that's like negative 10 <laughs> points or something, right? <laughs> yeah, your gamer score. I but clearly have not played enough Xbox because I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> oh man, Uchi dying one more time, taking his partner's stock. Now both the green team members are down to their last stock. Tempest will SD. And Chibo just the tank right now. Yeah, Chibo Ooh. holding it down. Looking like the military just spent a whole bunch of money on him. 
PB and J just spamming Mario Tornado, thinking he's Meta Knight. Yeah, Uchi definitely going to struggle to come back from this 2v1 situation. Not only is it just always a bad situation to be one character against two, especially in a game with lots of hit stun, lots of crazy... Oh my god, he took him <laughs> off the edge with that. But also, he's six stocks to one. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. The odds, like, you'd have to be Mewtwo King versus two people who've never played the game. <laughs> yeah, basically. Wow, that was Ooh. nuts. Did he just back air him into the... Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure yeah. if that's what happened, oh, he but tried I think to. I saw it happen. Yeah. He tried to hit him into the charge shot, but the trajectory back air sends you, sends you too straight. A very rough game one there. Blue team taking it in dominant fashion, just making me feel like, oh man, we have to play these guys next. Yeah. Hey, well, we gotta be confident. Yeah, no, That's of course. It. Of course, that is a secret, guys. If you are a newcomer to the tournament scene, you know, or if you're just a player seeking improvement, you always gotta go in with a level head. Don't be cocky. Be confident. Just be like, alright, if I play very, very well, I have a chance of winning this, or mm -hmm. I can win this. Yep. And, you know, don't drag your heels. Keep your head up. Yeah, people like myself, man, if I know I'm going to get up against somebody like a killer, like, for the last, like, well, it was last year when this happened, I would face Mewtwo King round two of Brawl and Melee at every tournament. And I would sit there, look at Mewtwo King, and he'd sit there smiling at me. I'd say, you ready to lose, jerk? <laughs> and, and then I'd play him. But I didn't give up. I just kept trying. But here we go. Game two. On the Sonic stage, Green Hill Zone. Very um, short sides in the death zone. Yeah, so look out for that. Definitely going to force a lot of close combat here. And I'm not sure if that's actually going to benefit the green team, who kind of seems to benefit from having space. Peach able to just control the air so quickly. And Ike also, I mean, on small stages, you know, long-range heavy characters are sometimes very, very good because they can control a larger portion of the stage with mm -hmm. their moves. But also, they have little room to run away. They're forced to approach, and sometimes they're not the best from a close distance. Yeah, but right now, Uchi taking out Chibo Ooh. stock and then smacks PB&J right in the logo of his hat and launches him <laughs> off the side. It's <laughs> so crazy. He said that one was to Smash Studios, too, yeah. not just PB&J. Oh, a little friendly fire, but Chibo ready Ooh. for Ike with a missile. Yeah, nice by Chibo. He definitely has those uh, aim hacks on. Yeah, <laughs> that action replay code. <laughs> yeah. It's somewhere in his oh controller. My gosh. I Uchi, thought no mods were allowed. Uchi tried to hit him with the one-hit KO that Ike has on Quick Draw. Yeah, the blazing tracks. Wow, the turn-up save was good. Nice teamwork. Oh, and another display of teamwork there. Wow, great coverage by Chibo. The angled up forward smash from Samus. Really great anti-air. And now that it has that disjoint in Project M, just like in Smash mm -hmm. 4. Yep. Yeah, watch out for Samus in Smash 4. She is going to be a problem early. I definitely very much <laughs> agree with you. Oh, there goes Ike <coughs> off the stage. Not just because Sakurai sent him. Yeah, no. Definitely the amount of playtesting we've done, I think. Ooh! Samus has proven to be amazing. Okay, Ike off the stage again. Is he coming back? Charging that quick draw? Yes, beautiful nice. recovery. Oh, clipped him with the Aether. Is that it? That's it for PB&J. Wow, this match looking very different from the previous one. Yeah, Uchi holding on to yeah. the stocks now. Yeah, particularly in Uchi's performance. Ooh. Oh! Blast Cannon right there. That's, of course, not the actual name of it. Yeah. It is Charge Shot. Charge Shot. I know but my Nintendo how creative. Lore. <laughs> Yeah, very much. <laughs> and, oh, good job by the blue team trying to box the green team between them. This is probably the most I've ever seen Mario's Tornado used. Oh, Ike just countering wow. and trying to block in the whole mess of it. Mario ready with the grab. PB and J, good scouting there. Mm, oh, the nice. toss up. Oh, trying to chase Ike to prevent him from chasing Chibo. That's like that girls chase boys chase girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, and dying from the Mario back throw at 100 after the throw. Kind yeah. of interesting there. This was definitely looking in favor of the green team for a while, yeah. but... Oh, man. It looks like the blue team is definitely keeping it solid, not cracking. All right, gets the counter. Uchi, very friend, uh, fond of the counter. Oh, uh, no, the air, air dodge. Off, and Chibo and PB and J clutch it out. Yeah, almost stealing it from Uchi and uh, Ame's clutches, or Tempest, rather. He mm -hmm. has so many names. Man, that was rough stuff. All right, but now... Whoa, this should be a good one. PB and J and Chibo versus mm. Cruzy Cakes and J Reed. This is definitely gonna be an exciting match. J Reed telling them fear the beard. 
<laughs> Jerry's beer beard is pretty boss. Beer. I love that he has so much Wario apparel on. I love the representation of Wario. Mm -hmm. Definitely a character that you know I, I actually hate Wario. Of. Man, what's wrong with you? I actually hate Wario. I think he's so stupid. I mean, that's the point, man. He's <laughs> yeah, hilarious. I, I usually like stupid things, but <laughs> he's like a little too much. Do you like yourself? Yeah. Um, <laughs> nah, but I mean, man, I play Wario in everything that's not Mario Kart mm. and Project M. I guess I don't really play him, but. I have played him a couple times and he's really fun. Alright, game one. The Easton boys. Yes. <laughs> They're them boys from Easton. Oh wow, the, the football toss off. Let's see if PB and Jake can get back on. Nice cape. Oh, uh, but Cruzy Cakes with a nice F smash. He's so good with the forward smash. Oh, the oh, fireball to up air. Classic <coughs> stuff from Mario. And. Now the blue Mario is off stage. The original Jumpman costume from PB and J. Nice fair the fair. Wow, gets it and just like that, blue team stocks have been obliterated. Yeah, that's how these guys play, man. Once they get their hands on you <coughs> together, mm -hmm. it's always a wrap. I mean, the best thing you can do against these guys is probably keep it to a one v one as much as possible. I feel like kind of reminds that's what happened. Kind of reminds me of the Cat and False and Brawl. Yes, you very really want to separate those guys because if they get a grab and they're near each other you're getting pooped on yeah the hole is greater than the sum of the two parts <laughs> yeah and okay chibo coming on stage or on the platform with that bold down air and then just up being out of shield trying to break some pressure from mario but now pb and j is left all alone this is one of their strategies jay reed and cruzy told me uh, just a few minutes ago that they like to just back throw one opponent with wario and mario's powerful mm -hmm. back throws and then just go for the 2v1 right after yeah. that once they separate you they have a much easier time and they know that so of course they plan to put themselves in that position as much as possible wow nice by jay reed the neutral air off of the ledge can't complete the edge guard against pb and j sits on chibo oh that up B. escapes yeah that's pretty much Samus's best escape from pressure. She also has a good neutral air out of shield, but that up B, just a, it's like a traditional Shoryuken. It yep. has invincibility frames and also a long downtime period if you miss. So it can cost you dearly if you don't use it at the right time. And right now, red team with beautiful stage control. J. Reed trying to sit on PB and J. I would never sit on such a delicious <laughs> sandwich. That's just ruining it. Aw, oh, PB and J, man. What a great, great meal. Yeah, if I... If I had to choose a food to eat for the rest of my life, it would be that. You it know pretty that? much covers all the bases, you know what I'm saying? Well, oh really, it was like, well, you don't get full nutritional value out of it. I was like, screw vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got protein for them gains, right? Yep. And speaking of gains, Chibo is going to need to hit the hyperbolic time chamber, go to the gym, get a really brolic Samus, come back to the present before this match mm -hmm. ends or before he gets hit too many times, and then try to take these six wow. stocks. This man just reflected the missile on him. Wow, J. Reed and Cruzy Cakes just jumping around like a bunch of animals and dying. Oh, for it. oh wow, Cruzy Cakes not stopping even after losing the stock. He's like, whatever, I got another one to spare. And the JV, technically JV6 stock, I guess, but then yep. J. Reed ruined it and hit his partner. Yeah, you know, these guys are new still, so they all know the importance of the JV. Right, You right. know, they haven't it, been around yeah, long enough. Yeah, no, actually, I would totally just ruin it like that. <laughs> Screw tradition, what's it good for? Yeah, right. Okay. Speaking of tradition, Smash still always does these round-robin pools. Even through all the years, we tried bracket pools a couple times, and it's not enough to really kill doubles pools for... I mean, <coughs> um, round-robin pools for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... People end up complaining about so and so after the fact, but whatever. I just play. Who cares? Yeah, at this point, <laughs> I don't really care. As yeah. long as the tournament finishes on time and I get to play and commentate and some good matches, man. And here's this Fox. PB and J going Fox. Yeah. This is what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, for sure. I'm very surprised to have seen Mario at all. So it's but. time to see if he could put the pa. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> the uh, can he? Oh, just a raw up smash. That's definitely not that pressure, but it's something. Maybe trying to catch him jumping out of shield or dropping shield at the last minute. Oh, J Reed going deep with the shoulder tackle. Homie said, hot, hot, hike. <laughs> oh, man. See, the thing about Fox and PM, characters can combo him so hard. And so you have to play nearly, like, almost perfect with him. Yeah, just it's just uh, somewhat similar in melee, but <coughs> outside of the top tier, you know, you see Fox end up being a little hard to combo for some characters mm -hmm. even. 
And yeah, and Project M, he is just delicious combo food for pretty much everyone. Actually, everyone is combo food for everyone uh -huh. in Project M. Yeah, you're right about that, man. Everybody can combo, everyone can recover. It was actually Jay Reed who was saying he thinks Project M's a lot like 64 in that combos just work, man. In Melee, you gotta like read and chase the eye and stuff, but in Project yeah. M, you can just do stuff. Wow. And that's part of what makes it fun, though. Not gonna lie, you know, not every game should be unnecessarily hard. Mm hmm. So, uh, the satisfaction of landing guaranteed combos definitely makes the game appealing. But right now, it looks like. Six stocks to six. Wow. Oh, and as I say that, the commentator's curse to the maximum and times two. Yes. Wow, five and five. This is a dead even game. It looks like the switch to Fox is really benefiting PBNJ. Yeah, PBNJ with the experience uh, playing melee more so than any of the other guys here and actively still plays melee at a pretty decent level. Even though he's down on stocks and high in percent right now, I mean, he's doing this thing. He's going in and Chivo low percent three stocks still yeah so I guess that's the strategy just go in go crazy and I'll back you up yes exactly Chivo playing more of a passive support role but to his credit very very well and you need to have these assigned roles and teams sometimes to play an optimal strategy because if Samus was going in and Fox was trying to back her up it would be a disaster yeah and Chivo actually does that when he teams with zero often in brawl too I mean he does main Rob and Rob is a great support character in teams in that game yeah, Chibo, so. definitely a very talented doubles player. And, oh, there goes PB&J getting sat on by Jerry. Yeah, there. that stock got eviscerated. And one of the most interesting things about Wario and Project M, and particularly uh. Jerry's Wario, is that he doesn't care that the down air is basically a suicide move. He'll just always go for it and almost yep. always hit it. Mm -hmm. I, his conversion rate must be something like 80% or better. Yeah, it's one of those things where you kind of know you're going to hit it, and I think he's at that point now where he knows he's going to connect, so that's the only time he'll do it. I'd say almost inarguably the best Wario in this game. Yeah. Oh, and a little friendly fire there. Even being the best Wario can't stop you from your partner Again, unexpectedly drop kick by your Yeah, drop kick by your partner. Yeah, but the red team is looking <laughs> pretty solid once again. They've kind of pulled this out after a very even start. Oh, and there goes PB&J, the rogue DI on that neutral air from Wario. Yeah, shout outs to Patrick G. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, and... Always got to shout that guy out once a stream. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good tradition. Yes. That's, that's a worthwhile that's tradition. That's a worthwhile tradition. Shout out to Pat, Pat G. In the building. I wish he was in the building, man. That guy is a real cool guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Okay. So... And he doesn't care that I always referenced um, the moments where his DI was literally like... Like... He flew at a 90 degree angle downwards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> and you, ba you basically coined that, didn't you, Pat GDI? Yeah, I'd that say was that uh, your fault. That was um, Cable and I were talking one day, and we, and I told him you'll watch this video, and it was anti <laughs> anti versus Pat G. Anti hit him with a down smash, and Pat G flew literally diagonal down and right. It and must have been like he was trying to die. <laughs> yeah, and. Cable freaking screamed <laughs> and laughed so much. Shout out to Cable if you're watching, man. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to you coming back for Smash 4. And.